Welcome to the O Brothers RC Garage. Today, I've got a TRX4M Bronco body that I want to paint, as well as some Enjora tires and wheels that I'm going to paint and install on this new Bronco build. I also just received these Enjora hop-ups, so I will be installing these as well. I've got six millimeter hex extenders. I've got the brass steering blocks. I've also got the bearing kit. As you can see here, I've already built one Bronco. I've painted it and done quite a few upgrades to this Bronco already. And I wanted to make this Bronco look a little tougher. I love the color of this Bronco here. It's like an orangish red. Shows up pretty red in the video, but it's really got a lot of orange tint to it. And I really like it, but I wanna go ahead and make this Bronco look a little tougher. So I'm gonna start by painting this Bronco here and adding some wheels and tires that look a little meaner and I think are actually a little better. These are Enjora S5 compound crawler tires. They're the newest thing Enjora has going right now and they are really, really sticky and I'm thinking these tires are gonna do really well. So I'm gonna start with the paint today and I've already done some paint on this body here. It came white. I used a black primer and did the inside and out of the body. Next, I began taping off the design that I want. Now I just gotta finish taping off and spray this. And also I'm gonna go ahead and spray these wheels. I couldn't get them in the color I want, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and paint them. As you can see, the JP crew has stopped by to do some work on their Jeep they're having a little trouble with. And they brought a baby T-Rex with them. What could go wrong? Well, I guess you'll just have to wait and see. In the meantime, let's get the rest of these wheels broken down and ready for paint. These Enjora deep dish wheels are really awesome. They sell for a great price. They're great quality and they widen out the stance of your vehicle. Okay, we've got all the wheels broken down and I'm gonna go ahead and take these eight pieces here, the fronts and the backs of the wheels and paint those. I wanna paint the body at the same time, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish taping that off right now. I used this thin stretchy tape to go ahead and get my curves and the shape I want. Then I come in with regular tape and do the rest of the taping. You want to make sure that your tape is pushed down really well and adheres really well. Otherwise, your paint's going to get underneath it and you're going to have a jacked up paint job. There's nothing worse than spending a bunch of time doing a paint job and having it come out really messed up. After that step, I come with a paper and tape combo. Then I can do the bulk of the body real easily. All right, now it's ready to get it striped. And these are ready for paint as well. So one of the keys of having a decent paint job is to do several light coats. If you do heavy coats and just try to do it all at once, you're gonna have a lot, a chance for it to bleed under as well as it's gonna dry real slow. So I usually just do a quick spray, I'm not trying to cover everything all at once. I usually end up putting on about three coats to get the desired coverage I want. All right, I'm just gonna leave those to dry by the heater here. Here we go with the second coat. Looking pretty good, come back in an hour and do it again. All right, the paint is done. I'm pretty stoked on it. It looks awesome. I got this flat black going on, and then we've got the nice gloss red stripe. The wheels are gloss red. Should look killer when it all comes together. I'm gonna go ahead and install this bearing kit now, and that's a lot of work. I gotta take the entire vehicle apart. So I'm probably not gonna include much of that process in this video. However, I will let you know if there's any trouble with the install. All right, while I'm installing the bearings, I'm gonna go ahead and drop these steering blocks in. These look to be a really well-machined part. I actually really like Enjora products. Great price point and they're usually pretty high quality. You really only got to remove three screws to pop this new steering block on. One on the bottom here, 
one on the steering linkage here, and one on the top here. Now you just pull that right off. You don't have to pull the whole axle shaft out, but since I'm gonna replace this bushing here, I went ahead and pulled it out. The new steering block takes two bearings, one on the outside there and a much larger one on the inside. They both just pop right in with no problem. Go ahead and dig this old bushing out. And pop that new bearing in. Now we can go ahead and reinsert the axle shaft and install the new steering block. All right, that steering block went on with absolutely zero problems and it took probably 10 minutes tops. Let's get after the other one. I recommend saving the bushings you take out because you can use them as spacers later. All right, now that the steering block and bearing kit are installed, I'm gonna go ahead and install these six millimeter hex extenders on the back. I'd like to use this brass hex on the front, but the problem is it's actually rubbing on the new steering block. So I'm not gonna be able to keep those on the front. So I'm just gonna switch to this six millimeter extender. Okay, now that we've got the bearing kit, the steering blocks, and the six millimeter hub extenders installed, it's time to assemble this body. Okay, the body's almost completely together. I've just got to install these little details on the front of the hood here and the door handles and the rear hatch handle. I know it's gonna be a lot of trouble, but I wanna paint these little hood details red just for a little extra red detail. I don't want a lot of red on this body. I just want a small amount. So I think it'd be cool to paint these red. I'm gonna go ahead and do that before I install them. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the door handles as well. So with tiny parts like these to keep them from blowing away while I spray paint them, I go ahead and put a piece of tape down and then just stick the parts to the tape. Now when I spray them, I can get both sides in one shot as well as they won't fly away from the pressure of the spray can. While those are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and install this light kit on the new body. It plugs right into the Traxxas ESC, and it's got two white lights and two red lights. Those just popped right in, but I've got quite a bit of extra wire here, so let me show you what to do with that. You just get yourself a pen or a screwdriver and you wrap it around there. Now I've got the lower half done here. Pull your screwdriver out and you got yourself a nice coiled wire. Now I'm gonna do all four of these. This will be a little harder, but it should still work. All right, got those all wrapped up. Remove my screwdriver and I've got a nice coil. This is still a lot of wire to deal with, so I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue it to the side of the body. Fire! Yeah, fire, fire! Yeah, fire! Yeah, fire! Fire is pretty cool, Beavis. Yeah, yeah, we just stick the wires there. Yeah, stick them on there. Yeah, yeah, stick the wires on there. Yeah, yeah. Now the wires are hot glued on the side, and we're good to go. I really don't like having that much wire hanging out, so I'll probably end up soldering this whole wire section out, but I'm not going to do that today. I got too many other things to do. We got brake lights. And we got headlights, and man, they are bright. You know, I've been meaning to ask you guys, does anybody know where that baby T-Rex's mother is? 
All right, while we wait for that baby mama to show up and kill us all, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble and install the rest of these wheels and tires. I love these Enjora wheels. I would buy them over the RC four wheel drive version every time. For me, they go together a lot easier. They are cheaper and the quality is really good. I am not sponsored by Enjora and in no way get any money from them. I buy everything, everything that I have with my own money. I am not about endorsing products that are not quality just because somebody's given me something for free. I like the feel of these tires so far. However, I'm pretty sure they're going to roll pretty bad when we get on the rocks. I think the foam might be a little too soft, but we'll take them out and we'll see what they can do with these foams and I can always change them later. As I've stated in previous videos, you want to find the triangle with the hole right at the tip, like this one here. And if you match that with one on the tip on the other side, when you push them together, you'll be really close to having them matched up perfectly. And you won't have to spin one of these inside here to get it to match up so your screws will go through. Now I just pull this a little bit gently until I can see this rubber bead all the way around. Same thing on the other side. Now she's ready for a hub. The first screw, I just screw in a couple threads. Then I go in directly across from that one and start another screw. Then I'll fill in the rest. All right, now that I got them assembled, I'm gonna go ahead and install them on the truck. I gotta say with these six millimeter brass extenders, I've barely got any threads sticking out. So I'm going to have to put the nut on first with a driver and then I'm going to have to go back with a pair of pliers and tighten them down. When I am tightening with the pliers, I want to be real careful that I don't in fact strip them. So I'm just going to go nice and snug. All right, that's a really great offset. It's going to add a lot of stability. Oh my gosh, this is an absolute tragedy. I think I might have got a scratch on my new paint job. Oh, that part where your friend got eaten was pretty bad too. But still, the show must go on. So while these guys get this place cleaned up, I'm installing these D-rings. So these are pretty awesome. They add a great deal of realism. However, they were not made for the TRX-4M. They're made for the SCX-24. And the screw they came with was quite a bit bigger than this one. So I had to find some smaller screws and get them to fit in here. Not really a big deal because they look really nice. These headlight stickers were all white, but I wanted to add a little more detail in red. So I took a Sharpie and I colored this area here. I wasn't sure how much I was going to like it, but I do. It came out pretty cool. The door handles and the hood details are done drying. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on now. So to keep these from falling out, instead of gluing them, I'm just going to hit them with the soldering iron and melt them a little bit. This is actually how they do it from the factory. All right, now that we've got all these red details on here, she is looking nice. One last thing I wanted to do was slap a couple stickers on there. And if you don't like my choice of stickers, I don't care. Man, what a nice looking rig. I'm very, very excited about this truck. Looks like these guys are done cleaning up the shop. Everything's back to normal, except for that giant hole in the roof. So it's time to take this thing out and give it a run on my course. Okay, so here we are. We're out at the crawler course. We had record rainfall just a couple days ago, and this whole course was massively flooded. Was my once peaceful rock crawler course. The bridge was destroyed. Bridge is out. And a lot of rocks got washed down the course and completely changed everything. So even though I'm going to have to rebuild my bridge and half of the course, it's not such a bad thing because I'll have a lot of new obstacles to run on.
This Bronco looks so freaking good in this cloudy weather. So before I knew where all my obstacles were and how to get up and down them and around them, now everything has changed. So the course is a lot more difficult for me, which is a good thing, I guess. Wow, that's awesome. Nice little climb right there. The tires are really working well. Even in the wet conditions. Ooh, look at that technical bit. Let's see if we can get up this incline here and avoid these lizards wow this thing is crawling really really well Let's take a little drive through the swamp here and see what we can see. I was wondering why that guy didn't show up for work. Absolutely digging this truck. It is performing so well. And it just goes to show that you don't have to spend a ton of money on your truck to make it perform well. Looks like Muldoon's got his hands full with some pesky raptors. See how she does in the trench. Pretty difficult to get through. Tires like to bind up on the sides of the walls. Nice. No dice. I'm loving all the water on the course right now. Tore everything up, but definitely got a lot of new obstacles here. And uh, it's very challenging for the truck. Look at that. Sweet. Hung up on the back bumper. There we go. back bumper again might have to look into fixing that yep <laughs> there we go this is where some wheel speed would come in handy Oop, we got it and big lugs dug right in
All right, so I think we've gotten a pretty good demonstration of this truck's capabilities. Let's take it back to the shop and we'll go over exactly what I've done and just how inexpensive it truly was. Okay, let's pop the top and go over everything I've done and exactly what it cost. I'm gonna try to do this quick because this video is running long. So first, underneath, we've got brass diff cover. I bought two for 20, so this is 10 bucks. Brass steering blocks, 20 bucks. Six millimeter brass extenders, 10 bucks. Bearing kit, 16.99, so we'll just say 20 bucks. Light kit, 10 bucks. Shackles in the front, it was 10 bucks for two sets, and I only used a half of one set because there's nowhere to put them on the rear bumper. So at 10 bucks for two sets, minus half of one set, it's about 250. Can of red paint, about eight bucks. About 40 bucks after tax for the wheels and tires in a set. All the other upgrades I did to this truck were pretty much free. So if you total all that up, it's around $130. That might seem like quite a bit of money, but to get the looks and the capability that this truck has is not bad at all. I've posted links to all the upgrades I've used down below. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, I post every week, usually Wednesday, sometimes on the weekend. I've got a bunch more builds coming up. Hit that subscribe button and tap the bell to get notified. Oh yeah, no action figures or dinosaurs were harmed in the making of this video.